Okay, so I'm back at it. Go on to this axe here. Um, I actually just used it for the first time. Harvest a, a poplar pole, and then what looked like it was going to be a pretty dead standing stump. Um, in all actuality, that thing's pretty solid all the way through. Um, took a little bit of work. It's some form of hardwood, not sure what it is. Nice crack when you strike it, though. But the, uh, the focus is on this hand axe. Now, I'll post some pictures later to have the tag with the actual brand and description, because, frankly, I forgot. I'm going to say it's like Colonial Steel. Um, it's stamped on the back of the head, USA. It was marketed as a, a Hudson Bay 18-inch axe. Um, it came just the, the plain axe with uh, a plain handle. I went ahead and cord wrapped the handle. Um, I'll insert some pictures when I do some video editing here of that process, moving, removing the stickers, showing the stickers. And then I took uh, a light bastard file and cleaned up the edge a little bit. It wasn't bad to start with. There was one chip probably from shipping. Um, cleaned that up and then honed it back um, with a two-sided honing stone. Um, I cord wrap all my handles um, for wood tools. Just gives me some extra cordage little extra grip most of the time. <laughs> this one, I, I actually purchased this at an agricultural supply store um, here in Virginia. Um, it's not a store that we have at home, so I, uh, I wanted to snag it while I was here. Um, agricultural Supply Co Company, I believe was the name. It was like $25, so not the cheapest, but definitely not stupid expensive. Um, the profile of the bit, you can see, is real smooth all the way up. Um, it's got a nice, straight, flat hammer pole on it. Um, nice coating. The handle's really solid. Um, I beat on it for a while on this log and it isn't showing any signs of working loose unlike some other inexpensive hand axes I've, I've had before. Um, the edge is still really really nice even after doing some chopping on it. Um, the bit cover, uh, post a picture on the Facebook page, is nothing but one long cobra braid where all I did is made one long braid and then at the end I left one tail long and weaved it to make it two pieces side by side. Then I tied on additional pair of pieces of paracord and a piece of inner tube and then another cobra braid to pull um, to make a bit protector. So um, real quick all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give this piece of uh, what I believe is, is poplar a nice whack here too and cut it off. Um, right ahead of this knot so that I can give myself a little bit of a walking stick. Um, hoping the camera angle should be able to pick that up. Um, again, it's, it's, it's a pretty good axe for 25 bucks. If I had a hit there the first time, it had been through. Fairly clean cut there. Um, yeah, I sharpened it a little bit, but really it, it probably would have done just about as equally well if I hadn't done that. Um, I just cleaned up a nick, and that's why it got back to where it is now, why it sharpened as much as I did. So I'll turn that into a nice little walking stick for the next couple days. Um, work on it back in the hotel and stuff since I don't get to play out in the woods much. So there that is. Um, give you an idea on shaving. Once you get a bite on it, it'll shave the, I mean, and like I said, this is either poplar or maple. I think it's poplar judging by the, the leaves there. So it's not a real hard wood. Um, but once I get a bite in, down here, it's doing pretty good at shaving the bark off. As far as making fines for fire starting, it's a it's a little bit heavy because it's an it's a pound and three quarters in the head. Um, but I think a guy could work with it a little bit. This is really wet too, and probably do all right. I mean, I'm shaving bark just fine, and it peels off the knots real good. So. Um, not really the choicest piece of wood for doing that sort of work. But I think it'd be really good for that, especially for an inexpensive hand axe. Um, something extra to keep in the car, maybe, if you don't want to haul it out in the woods. Um, nothing else bad to say about it. I will say that I'll probably continue to carry my Fiskars in the woods just because it's a little lighter. 
um, unless I know I'm going to be out for a long, long time, and then I'll always carry wood handles, um, just because they're easier to replace should you damage it in some way, shape, or form, like drop it in the fire, something stupid like that. So, there's that. Um, I don't know if this is going to split or not, just because of I don't really have a good base and it's awful long. But I'll give her a good drive down into her and see what happens. Might get her to stabilize itself in the dirt here. Doesn't look like that's going to happen either. Let's see here. I developed a crack. It's not going to get me split though. Let me try down here on the ground sideways see if I can get her to crack at all. It's not going to go, I don't think. I'm getting a heck of a drive in there, though. I mean, it's, it's a heck of a sharp edge. It's just not going to... I don't think it's going to split lumber for me today. Not this lumber, anyway. The handle feels great, though. I know that's kind of an important piece. I don't feel like I'm going to lose my grip on it in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's just not cracking through the core of the wood. It's got a little bit too much life left in it for this. But uh, overall, the hand axe is good. If you come across one, want to order one online, I have seen them online. $25, $30. Um, there are definitely better out there, but for the money, I think it's a pretty good hand axe to, to have a hold of. It's a pretty classic design, too. So, Thanks a lot. Let me know if you want to see anything different. You want me to see me try anything different with this hand axe or with any other tools that uh, you might see me play with. Thanks a lot.